Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another video. It has been a hot second since I last filmed and this is probably quite new for people who used to watch my videos and haven't watched one because I haven't uploaded one in a long time. But yes, I have dreads and I've had dreads for the past, hmm, a good few months now. This is actually my third set and I don't even know how I've managed to not film any of my like installing or removing. So today I'm going to remove these dreads. These ones have been in the longest. My, cam my mirror's over there, so that's why I'm looking over there. But these ones have been in the longest. My last two sets, I had two sets before these ones. And they were probably only in for like, like probably like a month at a time. These have been in for like at least three months. But when I put these ones in, I just, I, I guess because I'd had a little bit of practice, I, I did a lot of a better job. So they were able to last longer. They definitely shouldn't have been in as long as they have been in. But, you know, life happens and whatever. So they're still in. But now we need to get them out. So today's video is basically just going to be me removing my synthetic dreads. These ones are all single-ended dreads. I did use doubles last time. Wasn't as big of a fan. Not sure what I'm going to do with the next set that I put in. But I'm going to remove them. So I'm thinking this video is probably going to be a bit of a time lapse video. Um, I'm going to whack some of these up so that I can see them better. The last couple of times I did this I had no issues. They came out really easily and it was fairly easy to brush my hair afterwards because obviously the hair at the roots does start to dread itself it starts to like mat a bit because you gotta remember all the hair the natural hair that would be falling out that would be shedding it isn't because it's all stuck so i don't know how this is gonna go but let's just get started right let's try the first one i've just remembered i need my little band ripper thing although i don't need it for this one because it looks like it's already come out or is there still one up here it's difficult when you can't see as well like I can't I can't really see I think I need the mirror to be closer to me but obviously you don't want to watch this like in real time I'm estimating it's gonna take between an hour and an hour and a half I reckon it takes about four hours to put them in and then roughly an hour or an hour or two to take them out. But like I said, this time is going to be more difficult than it was in the past. Like this would have pulled out by now. Oh, it's coming. It's coming. Yay. Also, I need to, est I need to estimate. I need to evaluate which dreads are going to be all right to go back in and which ones are kind of dead by now. So that's one. But as you can see here now, this, I hope you can see them. It's gonna be a bit knotty. It actually doesn't, it doesn't seem that bad, this one. Okay, I'm hoping it's not gonna be as bad as I actually anticipated it was gonna be. Now, some of the bands have already fallen off of these ones, as you can see, but most of them haven't. So I'm gonna have to get my little blade to cut them see last time when i got to about here it's really easy to pull them out they are a little bit more stiff than they were last time that one is just a normal dread let me grab my bag with all my dreads in so these are all my other dreads these are the ones i'm probably going to be using next time with blonde because these are so nice I made some of my own pink ones. They're not amazing. I made them myself. What do you expect? Right. So in here somewhere, hopefully, there should be my little blade cutter. So this is, you need one of these when you're going to be taking these out. I don't think, I don't think I could do it without it, if I'm being honest. I mean, you probably could, but it would be a bit of a nightmare. And it's literally just, little blade that you can 
just now this is going to be more difficult as well because last time i just had these so just plain dreads so last time my hair was completely braided all the way down the dreads because these ones have got like some of the natural hair i've even left some of my own natural hair out but that means when i come to to cut the bands i am going to be at risk of cutting my hair more now this one now what is going on here oh uh, i think the band's broken but still tied around my hair this is not gonna be good right i can see it and then you just go in and just there you go i think i got it but my hair's knotted my hair is knotted around this is definitely going to be more difficult than it was last the last two times I did it. Hi baby, that's my coffee. That's not you. Last time I was able to kind of like pull and it would, yeah, kind of do that. But it's just been a much longer time this time. Which is fine because like yeah it's made life easy to just have them in and not have to worry about them i think next time i will try and stick to like like literally three months being the absolute most i don't know exactly how long it's been but i'm sure it's been a little bit longer than that okay it's probably going to take me longer than an hour and a half now now that i'm kind of ow ow realizing that I don't think I would reuse now. That one can go over there. I don't think that one's going to get me used. So this is what I would have had before. Just all regular dreads like this. And then, just so I can show you what I'm doing. I don't know how well it's going to focus. But here is the band. So just like that. And it will cut the band. You just gotta be careful you don't cut your hair at the same time. Basically. These ones are much easier to take out than the other ones. I just really liked the look though of having like some proper hair, but to be fair, the next that I do, there might just be all dreads because the pinks that I've got are just pure dreads. So I'm probably gonna have some of these blonde ones and some of the pink ones. I might be able to cut, to throw a few, a, th a, th a, th a few of their hair ones in, but none of them will be pink. So I don't know if it if it'd look weird if it was just like a few blonde ones and all the pinks dread. I don't know. We'll see. This is supposed to be a protective hairstyle. This side of my hair has stopped growing. And it's been like that for quite a long time. And this side kept going. So it's going to be interesting once I take these out to see the difference between the two sides of my hair. That's going to be very interesting to see. Obviously, some of these underneath bits of my hair are shorter because... Um, I did have to shave the underneath of my head at one point, but look how much it's grown back though. But this should be longer than that, really now. So I would love to hear from you guys in the comments whether these kind of videos are interesting or not. I've always kind of done hair videos. Oh God. And just like kept, just when, I, when I've changed my hair, I've always filmed it. Um, I think because of everything that's been going on for the past like period of time that I just, it wasn't even, it didn't even cross my mind. Or it probably did and I was like, but 
I don't have time for that. Or anyway, to edit any videos. So that's not going to happen. So this is Noid here now. She's going to make it very difficult to get the plaits apart. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Really could do with this mirror being close. It's a huge massive mirror and it's not far away from me at all. But it could do with being right here, I reckon. This is really knotted together, this bit now. I hope you can see. Which is making it very difficult to pull the plaque. But yeah, um, let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos on the dreads just because they are a little bit of a different thing. I had to do a lot of research on how to do them myself. Um, so if you want to see me install my next set and do my removals and I don't know, I can do a Q&A or whatever reviews and products and dreads let me know because i think that would be quite fun Ow! oh ooh, look how the plaque's gone it's like one of them snake ones um so yeah i don't know how long this video is gonna be i'm not gonna like worry too much about it because nobody's gonna watch it anyway um but I am probably gonna, I might even just cut off now. And then come back, just because you don't need to see me take out every single one. And I was gonna do a time lapse, but even then, like, you don't really need to see like a time lapse of me doing it, I don't know. Would you rather see a time lapse? Oh, what I'll probably do is stop the video now, take a few more out, and then come back. Does that sound like a good idea? I mean, by the time you've been able to answer that question, this video will already be entirely finished and uploaded. So, it's a silly question really, isn't it? See, this one's already coming out, but it's still very... The brushing's not going to be fun. Let's put it that way, okay. Um, I will see you in about a second's time. Right, so I've taken all the underneath the ones out. And now I've just got these ones. That's, that's probably not going to take me as long as I thought it was going to be. Because this time around, first time I've done this, I left this top bit of my hair out of dreads. Um, it has gotten itself quite matted because I haven't been really brushing it like I should have because, you know, that's me. Also, I put these little um, like ornamental things on which are actually really cute, but now I have to get them off. Yay! That was easy enough. Um, so, right, where's the band? The band may have come off this one already. I'm not seeing it. See this this one doesn't look like it's in too bad condition. It's probably been up most of the time. also really need to do my roots now as you can see i did do my roots before i put these in so my hair was all blonde that's how long they've been in for i do like it when it's all super curly like this though
so this one's gotten quite knotty because there was a lot of my natural hair left out and it's kind of got all like knotted up with the synthetic hair where's my brush Oh, it's really naughty. That's going to be fun to brush out. <sighs> right, I think I'm going to go off camera again and do a bit more and then I'll come back and do a bit more on this side. So these, by the way, stop focusing on my disgusting face. These here are kind of like metal and you can actually just twist them open. They were originally rose gold when I put them in. They've obviously like gone a different colour. But yeah, you just bend them, twist them around. I thought they were just cute, added a little bit of something. First time I've used anything like that. Oh my god, it's totally stained though, look. So that dread, I mean I might be able to just wash it, but that dread might have to go. There are no more dreads in my hair. Can you see what I mean about this this side? Oh. Being longer. Obviously, like, you can't tell. You know, it's not going to be an accurate thing because the hair's all curly and wavy. But you can, it's clearly, you can clearly tell this side is just growing thick, like, longer. This side is kind of stopped growing. And it's been like this now for a couple of years, I would say, where I've had to keep cutting this side to make it the same length. And I've done that numerous, numerous times. And yeah, anyway, we won't get into that right now. That's not important, but there we go. So that's all of the dreads are out. I do quite like my hair when it's all like wavy like this. Um, So that's, <laughs> that's the dreads out. And I guess that's the end of this video. I just wanted to do a video of taking the dreads out. I've now got to go through and brush it all. That's not going to be fun. Um, that's really not going to be fun at all. But, yeah. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. Give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments down below. And let me know if you do want to see me put in the next set of dreads. Um, and I'm happy to do, like some little chit chat videos about the dreads, where I got them from, how much they are, how long it takes, like a Q&A &A kind of thing. Just let me know because I think the dreads are amazing and you can definitely do them yourself at home. If I can do it, you can do it. Thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a random one, but that's how it always is on this channel. I love you so, so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.